Hey guys, I um, wanted to give a quick update. Um, I haven't been doing so well. Um, I've been doing this weird um, restriction, rest restriction, that's a great word, um, restricting um, and then going into a huge binge. Um, I guess maybe two days ago, I um, restricted my food intake all day. Um, the next day, woke up and went into a crazy food binge. Um, I ended up spending upwards of seventy dollars, maybe. Um, uh, on food <laughs> and doing a crazy binge um, started at Walmart went to McDonald's Wendy's, Arby's, Zaxby's Taco Bell um, Crystal's I'm trying to think if there's any more <laughs> um, and ended up back at Walmart um and that's where I purged. Um, then was totally fucking pissed off at myself for the next day and a half or so. Um, my partner, his sister just had a baby, so there's family coming in from all over. And, of course, they're like, let's go eat. And I was like, oh, I have to work. Or, oh, I've just ate. You know, the typical responses. Uh, finally, they came to work and were like, we're going to eat. Let's go. And I, was, I didn't know how to get out of it. So I went and got really mad there. Um... And just because I ate, um, and then I went on another pretty big binge tonight. Um, I had whatever the the ten dollar thing at Taco Bell. I think it's like twelve tacos. And then right next door, is Sonic. Stop there, and I had four hot dogs and. A large, a large onion ring and then McDonald's and had ice cream and cookies and then got sick in the parking lot um, and this is something new for me that I've done forever and I've never noticed it's just something that's something that I did um, and so this whole I guess all this journaling is helping, I suppose, because it's bringing to light all these crazy-ass things that I do that I thought were normal. Um, and so right now I'm pretty pissed off at myself. Um, I don't really know what to do. I mean, I don't know how to make myself feel better. Um, you know, I can journal about it, but then I just look at it and reread it and think, what the fuck am I doing? You know, like, what, why do I do this to myself? Um, but it's all in a, this weird way of, like, making myself feel better. Um, It's this huge emotional roller coaster, and uh, it's just so hard. Um, and I mean, you know, I don't know. 
I don't know if I can do this. It's, it's the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Um, I came out when I was 22, which I know that's kind of late in coming out, I guess, I suppose. Um, that was fucking easy. <laughs> Either the people you tell are going to be like, Oh my God, I love you. You're so brave. Congratulations. I've, or I've, I've known forever and I've just been waiting on you to tell me. Or they're going to be like, Fuck you, faggot. And go on about their lives and not be a part of yours. This is totally different. This is like, I tell someone and I wait. And then they're like, they watch you. Is he eating? Is he eating too much? Is he binging? Oh, he's going to the bathroom. What's he going to do? Is he going to throw everything up? Um, he, has he taken laxatives today? Um, so, I, it's just fucking hard. Um, my therapist, the mental health facility I go to, does not treat eating disorders. Um, so I feel like I'm in this ocean all by myself on this little bitty raft. Itsy bitsy. This big ocean. And I don't know... I don't know anyone else uh, by myself. Um, she... She's like, you know, there used to be a girl at the local university here that treated anorexia and different EDs, but I don't think she's there anymore. And then she's like, then my therapist says, but you know, I think she started a group at a church. Well, I live in Alabama in the Bible Belt where... It's not okay to be gay. <laughs> and definitely not okay to be gay and go to church. Um, so I don't think... I don't know how I would fit into that church group dynamic. Um, I don't know. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Um... I know I still haven't made made a lot of changes. Um, I'm just becoming very aware of what I've been doing, um, of the restriction, and when I do eat, it's either a huge amount of food or it's really nothing, you know. Um, and either way, afterwards. I am mad at myself. Um, so yeah, any any help, any encouragement, um, especially right now. Uh, I know I'm I'm smiling, but it's kind of one of those things you smile to hide the tears, kind of thing. I'm really good at that. Um, put on the happy face. Um, and any any. Any suggestions? Um, something that I could do to maybe, I don't know, help myself. Um, any online groups that anyone's a member of? Um, any tips um, in recovery? I don't think that I'll ever be over this. Um, I mean, I think that at some point I'm going to be able to live my life and eat and um, not get so mad at myself. Um, that's one thing that I really want to work on is not being so mad at myself all the time. Um, I get mad at myself for thinking about eating. And... It's just not good. <laughs> um, so yeah, any advice, any help, support, fuck, encouraging words, 
anything, I'll take it. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see where this goes. Um, but in, until next time, um, thanks for taking the time to watch my silly little videos. Um, and just to listening to me um, vent. Just being able to verbalize what the fuck is going on in my head, it's, it makes it a little easier. Um, so, I don't know. Thanks. <laughs>